introducing from Whitney Beatty. The whole Wembley experience was simply amazing. We had a great team with some amazing players, but we were also really good friends. It is something I will never ever forget. I had a good idea something was wrong. Nothing prepares you for actually hearing the news and that you're going to die and there is no cure. I was working as a PE teacher at Kenton School in Newcastle and playing non-league football for Whitler Bay. In May 2009 I won the F of R's at Wembley for my hometown club. Just months later I was diagnosed with motor neuron disease and told I would be paralysed and likely to die within three years. The main reaction that Mark had was that he was really worried about his family and how they were going to react and having to tell all the people that you loved, the, the devastating news. After I was diagnosed, I continued to teach for three years, but as my voice deteriorated, I had to stop because I was too difficult to understand. The school, who have always been so supportive, employed me as teaching and learning coordinator, which involves planning, teacher training, and supporting staff developing resources. I never let him feel sorry for himself, though, and I think he doesn't feel sorry for himself. We're both stubborn in our own ways and we're, we're still going to fight and won't be beaten by things. And we've got to look forward to the future. Mark has taught us all to see behind anybody's disability. And he's just, well, he's just Mark. He's, he's, he's just Mark, the, the, the second in PE, the PE teacher, the footballer he's always been. He just now happens to be in a wheelchair and he just happens to have a trackie in. That, that's the only difference, but he's still Mark. It's seven years on I am still working full time at Kenton, raised over £80,000 and am still making the most of my life despite recently needing a tracheostomy. <laughs> my friends and family have got me through it. My sister Gemma and my mum Gillian have both been amazing. I probably wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. People may say that looking after my brother is a burden, but it's certainly not. I'm so proud of him and I love him very much.